What's up ladies and gents and welcome to Final Fantasy Online with your boy Romeo. And before we continue with our main quest, we've got some fantastic key quests here to do, which is our class quest. So um, let's go. Now I'm going to be using some of Let's do, I don't know, should I do the least favorite first or the best one? Let's go with, uh, yeah, let's do this quest first. Grudanian Delegate. Shrouded in peril. The Grudanian Delegate is in urgent need of a stout defender to come combat a new threat to his homeland. I have come on behalf of the Twin Adders to enlist the aid of accomplished fighters. The small folk, the small folk cower in their homes for fear of an unprecedented threat to the Twelvesword, a blasphemy. It strikes quickly and with deadly precision before returning to the shadows whence it came. Try as we might, we might have yet to devise a means to track it, much less slay it. Several brave souls search for it even today, but their chances would improve greatly if they had a stout protector by their side. Judging by your reputation, I dare say you're precisely the man we seek. What say you? Will you serve as the shield that stands between Grudania and certain doom? Protecting the realm is what I do. I will take that as an enthusiastic yes. Make haste to the adder's nest and report to my superior. All Gredania shall pray for your success. Okay, let's go hunt some blasphemies in Gredania. If I can... Welcome to Twelveswood. Peaceful area. Blasphemy Huntmaster. Our, liaz our liaison at Radzatan sent word of your arrival, but I can still scarcely believe our luck. Are you truly here to help us bring this wicked blasphemy to heal? Then there is hope for us yet. I shall fetch the elder seats here at once. She's leading the hunt, and I'm certain she'll be most eager to see you. Full, full glad am I to welcome you in good health and good spirits, Black Dragon. On behalf of all Grudania, allow me to thank you for rising to our defense yet again. You will forgive me for eschewing further formalities as time is of the essence. I shall share with you what little we know of this elusive scourge. Following the events in Thavnir, we received a report that an unidentified man had fallen into fits on the road before transforming into a beast most foul, a blasphemy. We soon determined. Eyewitnesses to subsequent attacks both co patterns on its skin reminiscent of heavy chains, and thus we gave it the name Glipnir for the creature of legend. It emerges from the brush without warning, bringing destruction and tragedy to those unfortunate enough to be, be near. Ere we can respond to it, retreats into hiding, leaving no trace for us to follow. The elementals cry out to us to rid the forest of this wicked presence, yet even we, even if we tracked it to its lair, I fear besting the beast would be no simple matter. The wounds of Glepnir's victims are tainted by corruption, 
we can but conclude that the fiend's fangs, claws and horns are all imbued with a powerful poison. The smallest scratch sends the afflicted into fits and death soon follows. Mayhap you know the creeping death, the effects of Glipnir's vile poison bear more than a passing similarity to the symptoms of that deadly plague. It swept through the twelve foot many years ago, the sick found their skin covered in chain-like patterns and spent their final moments in excruciating pain. Twas long before I came to Grudania, but people still speak of it with dread. Is it true that the disease spared not a single year? Very nearly, yes. Before the remainder were taken, we were able to devise a cure from the Glimshroom. Sloth though it was, the scars of this tragedy could then begin to heal. Glipnir threatens to reopen old wounds, I fear. Yet despite the similarities between the blasphemy's corruption and the creeping death's marks, it is unclear how these two phenomena are related, if at all. Both conjury and white magic have failed to abate the poison spread. To confront Glepnir now would pay, place our soldiers at risk of grievous injury. Forgive me, Elder Seeds here, but this appears to be urgent. What? Again? Glipnir has struck once more in the North Shroud. The whalers came too late to see the beasts themselves, but the man it attacked yet lives. They are bringing him to fall ground float as we speak. Then we must meet them there. Will you accompany us, Black Dragon? Ethelmere should be able to apprise us of the details once upon our arrival. Let's go. Oh, wait, what did I just click? Shrouded in peril is all ground float. Let's go. Where you at, buddy boy? Elder Seeds here, you honor us with your presence. I cannot thank you enough for coming all this way. Given the dire circumstances, I would not leave this to another. Where is the wounded man? Outside of the bobbing cork, being attended to by one of our hearers. He is a capable healer, but I worry this is beyond his abilities. I shall do all in my power to aid him. I in turn may have need of assistance as well. I ask that you stay close, both of you. Where is it gone? Uh, no. I think that's it. Ah, there you go. Here's a, he's a hardy soul, but I'm utterly at a loss. While I manage to heal his wounds, the poison lingers. I fear the worst is yet to come. When I removed his clothes for treatment, I recognized the chains. If this is indeed the creeping death, do not lose heart. I shall spare no effort. Rest for now. We shall have need for your talents again ere long. Chicos! Man, Chicos! A bloody swarm of them! That came from the East Gate! Chigos are known as carriers of the creeping death. The villagers are on edge. If we think the veil can harbingers of another plague, they may panic. 
Pray see to the Chicos. I shall remain here with the victim. Panicky man. They were near Alder Springs, a whole swarm of them, like an army getting ready for war. Bring in the creeping death, like as not. Folk will be dropping dead with no rhyme or reason, and I'm not about to join them, no sir. Come running back fast, as my legs could carry me. Were you bitten? I will show you to a healer if so. Not a single hole that doesn't belong, you can be sure. You'd best do something about the swarm though. Would that we could, but keeping the gate man is our priority, and we have not the numbers to spare for a hunting party. By the time the whaler enforcements arrive, it may be too late. We'll deal with the Chicos. The one who culls the greater number owes the other a flagon of ale, eh? I commend your bravery, Godspeed, and don't get bitten. Let's go. This reduces damage to self and others. Whoa, absolutely only the Chico. Oh, this will keep coming, bro. They keep coming. Edge of Shadow. Okay, not quite finished yet. Looks like I have to uh, do a little bit of uh, tanking. Twelve be praised, and you! I've come bearing a cure for the creeping death, but it's of little use against actual death. Aye, that's what I have come. I heard tell of a man suffering from uncommon pains at Fall Ground f Fall Gourd Float. Sense an opportunity for philanthropy and a touch of profit, I'll admit. But if what you say is true, his condition demands a swifter pair of feet than mine. Could you bring the medicine to him in my stead? No need for payment this time, of course. You saved my life, and one good deed deserves another. I only hope the cure works as well as purported. As for me, I'll be on my way, and give any vile kin a, I spy a wide berth. Well, you look at that, we might just have a cure created by a Merchant, you gotta love capitalism. You know what I'm saying, bro? We gotta love that capitalism. The mother of intuition. Intuition? No, not intuition. What's the word I'm looking for? Intu... Intu... What's the thing when you create something new? Oh, I forgot. Thank you for calling the Chicos. Alas, our patient's condition has yet to improve and it all we can do to keep him from succumbing to the poison. Yada yada yada. I know this medicine. It was once used to treat the creeping death. Given his symptoms, it may prove well effective here as well. It works. My body. Uh, quite quickly. Oh wait, sorry, that's not the guy. That's actually... <laughs> so I'm playing the wrong character, sorry. 
Kanesen is saying uh, it works upon the body quite quickly, as I recall. Uh, I, uh, hold on just a while longer, my friend. The medicine will soon relieve you of your pain. I, I don't. It hurts. Uh, it hurts. Ah. Why? Why? The man shrieks die in his throat as his body is racked by violent convulsions. He then falls still and quiet as if his breath was snatched from his chest. Twelve have mercy. At the very least, his suffering is over. Had we been quicker to deliver the medicine, would he have lived? Nay, I think not. He was doomed from the moment the poison entered his blood, as will be others if you do not soon gain an understanding of our foe. Let this tragedy not be in vain, but serve as a lesson. Though the effects of guilt pierced corruption resemble the creeping death, it is clear that the two share little else in common. The poison burns through the body more quickly than any disease. Too deadly is it to be born of creatures so fragile as Chigo's or any other besides then that is one less possibility the people need fear. It is a shame a life was lost, but this knowledge may help us ensure that others are not. Spread word, but do so with delicacy. In these troubled times, fear and despair can drive even the goodliest of souls to desperate ends. Glipnir is the only blasphemy known to us in Gridania for now. We must do our utmost to stop him from sowing further discord. Understood, Elder Seetzia. I'll give this man a proper burial before sharing what we've discovered. Ascertaining Glipnir's whereabouts is still a primary concern. Let us return to Adder's Nest for information shall be our most reliable weapon in the days ahead, and there is no better place to acquire it. Oh man, he died. That's not good, not good at all. <sighs> Disappointed! Glipnir has been sighted in various locales and through, though we are reviewing every report, we suspect most are erroneous. Fear has a way of making one jump at shadows. It will take some time before we have determined which reports merit a more involved investigation. Until then, I ask that you stay vigilant and keep your eyes peeled for any sign of the blasphemy. That's a shame. <laughs> 